Hello, everyone. This is Brent Brookler, and we're here today to teach you a little bit about creating a new, uh, creating a flow. So I'm going to jump right into it. I don't know if you can see this, but I'm going to now create a new flow by hitting Control N. Choose one of our templates. I'm going to grab the history template. I can see a preview of it, or I can just grab it like that. Now, in the way the way things work with with Google Hangouts, which I'm using, obviously, it's a little bit different than you'd think. So I'm now in the main application. And it what it's done is it's drawn three templates, three pages of the template for me. So this is the first page. Um, second page is table of contents, and then a third screen. Uh, Going to the first page, we have, this is a graphic. Let me just go through the interface to get you acquainted with it. When you click on an image or piece of text, there is this menu here that moves. When you first launch your application, it actually will live right above your the item that you're referring to. If you hit a piece of text, it gives you the fonts and type font face size, alignment, color, ability to set a link, and then this is forward or backward to send the, the item up and down the z-axis, putting it backwards and forwards. Um, when you click on, this is actually a, a small box, a shape, it gives you a slightly different options. Uh, and then this is an image and gives you a slightly difference where you can crop the image you can change the image. And then a uh, key thing is, and we do this quite intentionally, is we have the ability to set links everywhere. So from this point right here, we can set a link to within the, the flow, to a website, to an email address, or link to another flow. So from this little dinosaur, we're going to link to a different screen. Let's link to this screen. And we have intentionally just a few transitions. Let's try the fade in transition. And hit done. And now I'm actually going to put this back up here. We also have on the side here is kind of the XY coordinates. This tells you where it is on the, the canvas. So the, the top left corner is at X, uh, X87, and then 73 pixels down. And the size of this is width 98 and height 42. You actually can make this smaller. Let's make it 90, or let's make it 45. Or what I'm going to do right now is I can hit Control Z, and we'll just go back to its original size. If I hit play, it, I can then jump and show you how this works. But the way Google Hangouts work is to be a new window, and you won't be able to see it very well. So. Here is a table of contents. And this is where um, that linking is really powerful. So introductory. So this now we're going to hit the link button, and we're going to link to website. And this is going to go to the third page. I like fade-ins. Flow to screen is pretty cool, too. And then hit that. Uh, and then let's pretend this, so this is the introduction. And here you can go and can change this text. We could make it bigger. We like using keys to do it. We can make this wider. We can make this bigger. But because the text has two different sizes, you have to click in to make those choices. Um, and also notice this. I mean, you could make what we say, I guess it's a powerful program in terms of you can make anything you want. Uh, there, these, there are templates. 
But with the templates, you can, they're just the guides and then you can create anything you want from here. Um, to, other thing to note is, so then on every page, you have this insert button. The insert button is you can add text, images, galleries, which is a series of images, video, which means an MP4 or MOV file. And then you can also add essentially links to or embeds of YouTube or Vimeo files. And you also can add audio, PDFs, and shapes. One of my favorite things to do is adding a shape to add an element of design consistency. So we're gonna put this blue shape here and we're gonna put it on top of this whole page. But then we're gonna go and change the color to, okay, let's actually change it to, you can use this, let's change it to this color, but you can change the opacity to make it really a faint thing And then we will send it down so it's just it's on top of it's on top of this but not on that now maybe that's not the best example uh, it really works well especially using black in opacity to highlight uh, and putting things behind it Let's see what other screens we have here. Here's a beautiful screen to work with. So here we have a big text, uh, and then here is a big image, and then the, this, there is a um, yeah, tech, more text here, and I guess this image is this whole piece. Oh no, and then Control Z is my favorite thing, and then Right here is another, this must be, it's an image as well to make that effect. Um, we can go in and say, a forest. And there you are, you're making these changes very easily. Um, and right here we can go, let's change this to the forest. And change forest life in the age of dinosaurs. And then we go and make a screen and the screen goes to there. Let's do a fade in and done. And we can also do same thing here. So now we've built a second page. What we also can do is we can make a Back to home button. Now, uh, I usually make this uh, actually on the way back. I like to go to here and done. And so now we've made a little button kind of out of the way, but now the person has a way to get back. And what we could do is we could copy that and we could put this here as well. Now that text doesn't work because it's black and we can make this white. But the button, if you go and look at this, it already is selected to go back to there. And then we can create another page. Early atmosphere. And then watch this. Back to home. That overran the text, so we just make the text field wider. Um,
So there we have another thing. Now, what I can do is I'm going to go hit play and move to a different window. And now you're seeing how this works. So on this page, I tap on that and I go to this page. Introduction, back home, forest, back home. Do we, do we not? What? I think we forgot to do that. Hmm. So that is how you quickly create a few screens. You can also use the arrow keys to go back and forth, but it's always best to use that. Um, I really want that other So I'm actually adding that those links in there and like that and clean and now I'm going to uh, there we go so much better now so again we just created that a table of contents with uh, several screens and we did it in really not very long uh, assuming that you already have your uh, content chosen this will be a breeze to set up uh, next thing let's back to the editor and so now what do you do so now i can save this draft this is basically uploading all the files in here uh, text files and graphics and backgrounds and preview images and these are being saved as a draft to our cloud. Um, let's wait one second. Uh, just showing you that. So it's a draft. It's not published. It's just a draft. Let's select that. Finish. And and now it's not a title. This really may not be be applicable for a museum uh, piece, but for sharing on the web, it's very important to title it and also a description. And you actually will get potentially traffic here with good um, titles and descriptions. And then when you want to actually post it out, you hit the post button. Um, You can also customize the link, so it'll appear as that. It checks to see if it's available. And then here's privacy. So I can make it so anyone can see it, which means it's out in the public and we'll scrape for it. You need a link to see it, which means you have to know that link, or only I can see it. We also can allow it to be, to be duplicated. So I'm going to allow this to be duplicated, but you need a link to see it. You hit next, since we already had saved it out, we don't really need much. We don't need to say much more, but just change, updating the permissions. Then I hit copy, and now you can go and see that on the internet. So I'm gonna go to that page. I'm 
going to change what we're viewing here. And there you see it. It's now the pages that we had just created. Are now live. I can click on introduction and go back to home, forest, and home, early atmosphere, and home. And you can also use the button keys. So that is a very quick run through on how to use Favela to make a museum like museum like system. Since no one's watching, I am going to jump off right now. And this was the first test run from in. I hope you've enjoyed it. Talk to you later. Bye bye.